I love Jesus because he turns and looks at this woman. You got to see this. He's not satisfied with just giving you a miracle. That's not why he came. He didn't come to get rid of your back pain. He didn't come just to give you a bigger bank account. He didn't come so you could have a better house and healthy children. All of those things are good, but he came for something deeper. That's why he stops and says, who touched me? They said, no, no, everyone's touched. He said, no, I, left, I, I felt the touch, the reach of faith. And this woman terrified, she, she says, it's me. And what does Jesus do? Jesus looks at the woman. What does he say? He says, daughter. He says, daughter, your faith, your faith has made you well. Your small faith, your little faith, your, your crawling, your fear, your trembling, you're coming up on the back, just trying the slider two more times, three more times, the waiting, the linger, your faith has made you well. So go in peace and be healed of your disease. Notice this, he's not satisfied with just healing you. He wants to stop. He wants to confront you. He wants to look you in the eyes. He wants to establish a relationship with you. You are not your issue, but rather you have the greatest identity the world could ever know about. You are a son. You are a daughter of God. Woman, you're a daughter of God. You're not your issue. You're not your setback, you're not your problem, you're not your hurt, you're not your hang up. He calls you daughter. He said, Rich, why does he do it? He does it because even if you don't have a father named Jairus, even if you don't have a dad who's got accolades and a dad who's got education and a dad who's got money, even when you don't have a dad who will pray for you, even when you don't have a father who will stand in the gap for you, oh baby, you got a big brother and his name is Jesus. And he'll show up. He is a father to the fatherless. He is a friend that sticks closer than any brother. When you don't have a dad to reach out for you, your brother named Jesus, he will stand in the gap for you. Daughter, your, your, your faith has healed you. Your faith has healed you. Grab a seat, I'm just talking. Your faith has healed you. Your faith has healed you. And this woman, she stands up 12 years, the same problem, immediately it was gone. I just felt so strongly in my spirit right now, people that are watching, you are not your struggle. You are not your issue. I don't care how long it's been. I don't care if it's been your whole entire life. It doesn't have to be your entire life moving forward. It's within your reach. If you can touch it, you can catch it. Catch what, Rich? Catch the revelation that he wants a relationship with you. He's passing through. Catch the belief that he loves you more than you love yourself. Catch the fact that you have an identity that you are a child of God, you can catch today. Well, how can I touch him? How can I catch him? You can do so because he has positioned himself in your way. He's positioned himself to be touched. He's positioned himself to be reached. He's, he's accessible to you.